as far as music and, and the industry, that this this whole career has been a, a big roller coaster. And I remember in what was this? Probably like I'm gonna say like around 2001 when Serato just came on onto the scene. That sort of changed everything. Um, you know, we were putting out a lot of uh, scratch and, and battle records back then, and um, around that time is when things started to slow down. I just remember having a hard time to readjust, um, you know, figuring out how I'm gonna make money, uh, trying to figure out, you know, how to make a business at, out of this, you know? Um, and uh, it, was, it was a big lesson, you know, figuring out distribution and, and how to put out records. Um, but it, it, was, it, was, it was a good and bad time. And I felt like I learned a lot, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm lucky to be here today because so many times back then I felt like, like quitting, you know what I mean? And just going back to school. And I'm glad I did, man, because cause now I'm in a, I'm in a good, good place. Um, I'm, I'm actually learning to, to teach uh, scratching and DJing now. About three months ago, we opened up the Beat Junkie Institute of Sound. And uh, it's, it's myself, Babu, Mr. Chalk, Rhythmatic, Melody, J-Rock. And uh, we're all there, like we're all teaching, you know, and we're teaching the foundation, turntables, a mixer, and records, vinyl. You know, we want to pass this on to the new younger kids, you know what I mean, so that they don't, they don't lose out on what we've helped create, you know what I mean? Um, and uh, basically we want to share our craft, like what we've learned in, in these past 25 years, you know what I mean? We don't want that to die, so, so we created this, this school it's based in Los Angeles, California, and um, hopefully we can we can be online one day and, and, and have it as an online university as well. So yeah, opening the school, it's it's really opened up my, my eyes because um, I'm learning that teaching is a whole different art form. Like like I scratch and I DJ, but I don't think about it. I don't I don't think about breaking it down and, and doing things and explaining how to do things. So for me, to have to teach a class of 12 students, you know, it's, it's, it's forced me to go back to my roots and, and, and really break things down, uh, figure out patterns and scratches and techniques and have to actually word it out and explain it, you know, step by step. That's, that to me is the hardest part of it. Uh, but I'm, I'm getting more comfortable with it, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm, I'm learning to uh, embrace teaching, you know what I mean? I mean, one of my, Biggest pet peeves as far as DJing and, and scratching is that, like, I feel like a lot of scratchers, they they want to just shoot a Uzi gun, you know what I mean, 100 miles per hour. They're not really saying nothing, you know what I mean? They're not talking with their with their hands. They're, you don't hear a voice. It's more about technique and speed. And and, and to me, it's, it, it's more about saying something, you know, um, being lyrical, rapping. That's like my biggest pet peeve. No, no one's really saying nothing with their cuts, you know, it's, they're not talking to me.